Why is the Communications Portfolio Committee questioning the fitness of the SABC's board? What triggered the controversy around former COO Saudi Mtwening's new position? Or is perhaps Saudi Mtwening a victim of his commitment to transform the SABC? And what is the ANC Youth League's position on this latest development at the public broadcaster? What time is it? It's question time. Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Mpotse to the African National Congress Chief Whip Jackson Tembu says the South African Broadcasting Corporation's reappointment of Mr. Saudi Mutsuening as the group executive of corporate affairs is illegal. Mtembu was speaking at an urgent media briefing in Parliament today. He went on to say the SABC's board is failing dismally in its oversight obligations at the public broadcaster and its decisions are an embarrassment to the country. We are live. Therefore, you can call us and air your views. The numbers to dial 089 one one zero four two one zero our Twitter handle at question time two four. My guest in studio, Dr. Paul Guben, is a legal expert. And joining us from our Pretoria studios, Kaiser Hanyaho is the SABC spokesperson. Gentlemen, let me welcome both of you. Uh, Kaiser, welcome to Question Time. Perhaps let me just start with you. You released a statement today. Um, basically uh, what dispelling the myth or attacking the uh, print media for misleading headlines uh, that the, 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 the press release says just talk to us about that briefly uh, good afternoon um, Paul. Uh, what we have been saying uh, in our press conference yesterday was very clear that nowhere has we have we ever had a situation where uh, any court has pronounced that Mr. Mutsuening is not allowed to hold any position. And we still see the media and quotations that are made of uh, a lot of other people, from the public protector to other people in politics and so on, still going on and misleading people with the fact that the uh, court ruling has said that we are not supposed to appoint Mr. Mutsuening in any position. And we wanted to come out very clear to say, unless people want to uh, do it deliberately for their own intentions, they need to say to the people of South Africa, go and read the judgment yourself. Because if you read the judgment, you will see that the court case that they are referring to was never about Mr. Mutsuening. Mr. Mutsuening was not even on trial in that court case. It was about the processes. And that is why we have always said that as the SABC, we have respected those uh, uh, court rulings and we have implemented them because one of the things that they keep on not mentioning in the public is the fact that Mr. Mutsweni was put through a disciplinary hearing and because of that he was then acquitted. Therefore, people cannot continue to make allegations that cannot be substantiated. Okay, I think, Kaiser, one of the things that people are asking out there is does Saudi qualify for the current position which the SABC has appointed him? But the issue that has always been there, M. Po, is he has held that position before. And they did not ask that question at the time. Therefore, what makes them think that they can ask that question now? It is just a matter that is now being personalized. But at the end of the day, it is people who are trying to push their own agenda. Because all of those things that they are saying are based on the fact that they are saying that the court has ruled that he does not qualify to occupy any position. But if they read the court judgment in uh, section 52 and 53, they will see that there is no such a thing uh, that, that they are referring to. Therefore, they are misleading the public. Was the position which Saudi now uh, occupy advertised? No. Why was he then appointed? You see, <clears throat> we answered that question again yesterday and the press conference was live. And again, people are deliberately not saying what we said because the acting CEO, CEO yesterday indicated very clearly that the appointment of executive uh, di uh, directors are, uh, is done by the board in consultation with the minister but the executives as in from GE going downwards that is the prerogative of the executive directors and he even mentioned yesterday that the executive directors he is referring to is himself and the acting CFO 
they have made a decision on who should occupy what position. And that was done in terms of our memorandum of understanding. But uh, that, that position was just recently filled by uh, Pesi Tugwana. Why was it therefore made available for, uh, for Saudi to occupy? It is the prerogative of the executive directors to change the squad that they are working with, the way they, they see fit. Because what they have done is they have removed, they have moved um, a Bessie to another position that she needed to go and, and, and uh, serve in, in the office of the CEO, so that they can play around with the people that they have. This we, are, we have not done now. I think a month or so ago, we have moved some of the group executive, changed uh, uh, Suli to go to sports, changed uh, Nomsa from commercial enterprises to go to television and so on. We do that all the time. Hold it there. We're going to take a quick break. When we return, we'll be taking your calls. Give us a call and uh, let's hear what you think. 89 This is Question Time. see this, but you feel this. You see this, but this is what you feel. You don't see this, but it feels something like this. And this is what you drive. The Audi A4 110 kilowatt Sport from only 5999 per month. And we'll cover almost three quarters of the deposit. We'll pay for the dream so you can drive the reality. Do you need a funeral policy? Joy is found in the little things. Ke ho pidisa. Ho fepa le ho hudisa. Oguba ibona ukuvela kwethuba lalokho ungenzeka. And being there when one journey ends and another begins. And it deal for the client and his. Life is the gift of growing new memories each day. So that our loved ones can preserve them after we are no longer here. Life is a gift to us. Life is a gift to us. Since 1918, AFBOB has comforted and supported South African families in their time of need. Protecting their loved ones' memories with respect and dignity. Plus, committed and trusted funeral representatives with more than 250 branches nationwide. There for you, every hour of every day. Avbo provides a complete funeral service solution for everyone, even if you're not an Avbo policyholder. Make sure your family comes first, always. Avbo, we're here for you. If you would like Avbob to call you about a new policy, SMS family and your name to 41790. Welcome back. You're still watching Question Time. The numbers to dial 89 My guest today, Dr. Paul Nguben, is a legal expert. Enes Mwikangwa is from the Friends of Saudi and uh, from our Pretoria Studios. Kaiser Khanyao is the SABC spokesperson. And indeed, we're taking your call, 89 Dr. Nguben, let me uh, uh, just welcome you to the show. Well, uh, okay. the first time we heard of you, it was very controversial. Yesterday, at yesterday's press briefing, you know, uh, um, when you had come to talk about Saudi, other things emerged. But uh, I guess that's not what you want to talk about. Um, mm -hmm. Are you well, It's not the first time I, yeah, you've heard about me. I've been involved in public speaking since 2007. Mm -hmm. Those issues were raised 2007. They were raised every time. Yeah. I'm not here to talk about them now. But at the appropriate moment, I'd like us to be able to meet and I'll, uh, I'll talk okay, to we'll you about this. We'll get into the Saudi matters yes. just uh, now. Andrew, you're in Limpopo. Welcome. Yes, how are you? I'm well. Thanks uh, for the call, um, Andrew. Can, can Kaiser maybe clarify the plot over Saudi's head about its qualification? Because most of us were asking ourselves, what qualification is he having to can occupy the post given? 
Okay, Andrew, thanks for the call. Kaiser, uh, that's the question there. What qualification does Saudi have to occupy the current position? Obviously, I don't think it's something that uh, is a secret because everybody wants to talk about this issue of him not having a metric. But from where we're sitting, there are other qualifications that he has acquired throughout the time. But that is not the, the issue at the present moment. Saudi is an employee of the SABC and some of these issues are employer-employee <coughs> issues. But at the end of the day, the SABC uh, people who made the decision are quite uh, clear that he is qualified to do the job that he's going to be doing. Norman, you are in Cape Town. Yes, yes, uh, Sepo. Mpo. Yeah, yeah. Look at Sepo, man, the qualifications of, 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 of that comrade, man. It's completely unwarranted, man. I mean, don't they have somebody, even you can be the CEO the, or the CEO. Why, why, do they, why, why do they employ somebody with a standard aid certificate? It's ridiculous. It only happened in Africa. I, the ANC is very upset of that because even in the court, the court fined him the, uh, um, unqualified in any case to hold the position. But the, the board, I think he's paying the board money uh, uh, um, to hold him in those type of position, comrade men. They must get rid of that guy. Okay. Thank you, Sipo. Oh, oh, all right. Wow. Yeah. Um, Paul, it is. Um, Kaiser? No, I don't know what the question was. Uh, oh, okay. Well, just I think it's, going, it's mm. going back to the same thing. Uh, the man is not qualified. Does the current position which is occupying not require metric? At the end of the day, uh, Mpo, uh, we are, like I've said to you, those are the prerogative of the organization. And this man has occupied that position and many other positions before in the organization. And nobody has ever mentioned this issue. Therefore, I don't think it's something that we should be entertaining now. Friends of Saudi, um, why did you form this? Can, can I get you guys to come and support me if I'm in trouble yet? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mpo, if you advance a transformatory and developmental agenda mm -hmm. and uh, making sure that uh, you fulfill your mandate as per, uh, uh, the, insti as per the institution, will definitely come through and say, um, he's one of us. Um, 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 he's very transformatory in nature and uh, he's advancing the very institution that he works for and remember Saudi did not only come to the SABC last year or two years ago mm. uh, we see him as the child of the SABC because he has more than two decades working for this organization and of importance we've realized that uh, both in the ghetto and in urban areas um, um, anything black must not be successful uh, anything black must always be insulted and we took a decision that no we're not going to fold our arms and allow this to continue because okay. here's the man who has um, who's advancing the agenda and the plight of uh, the minority, okay. um, you know. All right. Peter, you're in Kimberley. Yes. Welcome. Yes, good afternoon. Afternoon, Peter. My, uh, thank you very much for taking my call. You're welcome. I just want to know, is the censorship on the SABC? Because on the other news stations, they've been broadcasting... Jackson and Temple speech, but not a word has been said on SABC about uh, Jackson and Temple use the words the shenanigans going on at the SABC. So please just tell us, is it censorship that the rest of the company has not seen anything about this? Okay. Peter, I've got your question. You Let, I've noted it, and we're not going to censor uh, it. Um, but I want to just bring you in here. Already this matter, you are a legal guru. Already this matter, um, Tulima Donsela says she is considering taking it up, uh, you know, with the uh, legal institutions. Jackson Mtembu indeed today said, look, um, the, this board must come and appear before the portfolio committee. What are the legal uh, um, implications of this matter? Well, I, I think legal implications, we just have to stay true to the court judgments. 
In this case, there are actually two court judgments I want to refer you to about Ms. Thamutsuning. The first one is that of Judge Skippers. Judge Skippers had ordered that Ms. Thamutsuning should appear before an impartial and independent uh, disciplinary inquiry. Yes. He did that, and he was cleared. So if you claim to be respecting court judgment, and that goes for the ANC and Jackson Timber as well, if you claim to be respecting court judgments, if a judge orders that something should happen and the person complies, simply because he was cleared, doesn't mean now you have to raise other side issues. The fact remains, he complied. Okay. You go to Judge Davis's judgment. He was also very explicit as to what should happen. He said the minister's appointment of Mr. Mtsuning was unlawful and um, irrational, and he set it aside. But he said something very important in two paragraphs, 52 and 53, in which he said Mr. Mtsuning should go th through a, a disciplinary inquiry. If he's cleared, those were the words of the judge, if he's cleared, then he can apply for the position of COO, COO or any other positions at the SABC, if he's cleared. Okay, then okay. he was cleared. Now, I don't understand those who claim to be for the rule of law to go around saying there are some court judgments that have found him to be not qualified. Okay. Mopalisa, you're in Bethlehem. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, my question is, why does the board decide to, to, to hire Mutsuini when, when they know that, well, that Mutsuini is still there about the rule of law? He is arrogant. He is always centering around himself. He's always saying, I talk implementation, I'm intelligent, but the courts find otherwise. I don't know why they're still keeping him there. He must go, really doesn't represent us. Okay, well, you are certainly not for Saudi to go. He has done wonders for the organization. Uh, both young and old men and women um, all over South Africa, of course, because they do not have a hidden agenda, mm. have noted that, and they appreciate the good work that he has done. I know mostly people do talk about 90%, but 90% for us, it's something that came in recent times. Mm. There are a lot of changes that he has made, even when the SABC was in a state of collapse, uh, himself, together with his team, they made sure that uh, SABC financially is in place. Our stories that people never got to see, he said, no, we need to increase that. Mm. But you must also appreciate the fact that sometimes uh, I think South Africans at this point must come to a conclusion that anyone who takes Jackson Mutembu serious must be mentally maladjusted himself or herself because uh, Jackson Mutembu is not the ANC and he cannot begin to behave as such. As I'm sitting here, I'm also a member of the ANC. So if he has issues which are personal whatsoever, he needs to take it up with the uh, right institution and stop behaving like he's a demigod. Ntlantla, you are in the free state. How's it going, your Chief? I'm well. Thanks for the call, Sansa. No, I'm well, man. I would like to just to add something there over. Yes. To these two gentlemen uh, at the, at the, with you there. Yes. Uh, first of all, I would like to find out, uh, is there any position in South Africa which cannot be led by a black person? Because what I think, if we can look for recruits, there are more than who can be Saudis, which are having doctorates, which they can perform far than better than him, rather than to make him God of this South Africa. So please, guys, SABC is for us all who live in it, not for an individual who wants to be like Mandela. We only had one Mandela, which will never have another one. So please, give us a chance, Mr. Saudi, and all your puppets, then others will follow with their qualifications, which are more. Okay, uh, uh, thank you very much for that call. Kaiser, uh, perhaps finally, um, and I mean, I, 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 I will put, I'll give you some of the questions which our viewers are, 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 are asking out there. Um, did Saudi commit fraud by misrepresenting his qualifications to the SABC? And in which case, therefore, the SABC is known to fight against, you know, uh, fraud. You have uh, fired uh, people who were said to have committed fraud. In this case, what is the state of affairs? The state of affairs, Paul, is very simple. 
we had a disciplinary hearing and that which you are saying was one of the charges that were put against him and he was acquitted by that disciplinary hearing which basically says that the allegations were made and the charges were made and they were found to be false therefore that is the basis on which we are working on therefore we can safely say after that that uh, he we do not have anything that says he had defrauded the organization or he had lied about his qualifications what are you going to do as legal experts in support of uh, of, of cloud here um suppose uh, tulima donzella takes the matter to court as she has indicated or hinted well, that may be better in fact because it will give mr Saudi a forum yeah. in which to vindicate his rights instead of people launching a public um, vilification campaign against them, citing non-existent court judgments, claiming that courts said something mm -hmm. that they haven't said. If, if these people are serious, they will go to court and that's where their allegations will be laid bare for everybody to see. Okay, but perhaps finally and uh, uh, very briefly, what made you decide to get on to uh, the, this, this cloudy matter. Are you uh, that much of an activist? Can I, tomorrow, mm. if I'm in trouble with the SABC, come to you and you will help me for free with the same enthusiasm? No, look, look, at, it, look at it this way. I write and I publish uh, mm. documents. I've been doing that since 2007. Sometimes when there is an issue of public controversy, uh, you know yourself as a journalist. The journalist will call and also the various i've been on enca i've been on uh, on your uh, uh, show so obviously when somebody contacted me about this particular issue and about the court judgments i had read the court judgments okay and i had said and i still believe that people are deliberately misinterpreting the court judgments for their own political purposes the person i respect is that caller who called in and basically made it clear that she doesn't like Mr. M uh, Mutsuneng. She wants him to go because she doesn't like him. But don't claim it's because of a court judgment. Because there is no such thing. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. We're still a half hour show for now. But that was question time for today. A big thank you to my guests and to you for watching the show. From me and the crew, you have yourself a wonderful time. I have a heart. Can pack healthy tips to help you to practice healthy living lifestyles. Now, generally, type 1 is found uh, mostly in children and young adults, and with type 2 diabetes, it's found mainly in the older generation and also with an issue of obesity. Don't have second portions, and then I brought this plate model to show that for both meals, your lunch, your dinner, half a plate should be vegetable. Within sports, we see the spectrum itself. Uh, most often we see minor head contact injuries, we call them. Right. But certainly in sports, the one that uh, a lot of attention is paid to is concussion. Concussion. Mm -hmm. You see, you got something, and boom, yeah. right, it's uncontrolled. Whereas in soccer, when the guy hits the ball, it's controlled. His, his neck muscles are controlling it. And that's why they say, in, 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 for instance, in rugby, yeah. the training should be to improve your neck strength. For more on health, join your host, Dr. Selo Mutaong, every Saturday from 9 to 10 a.m. Her space is a small one in a building in Addis Ababa, but her products carry unique value. Teshale Chitadese abandoned her teaching profession after 10 years to concentrate on her passion for design. And she chose to add value to the Encent, or false banana plant, one that provided food for her as she grew up. I make a placemat, a bag, vase, and 
things that makes a house decoration, all holes are household items. It can be for the living room, for the bedroom or kitchen. You, I can make it in different way. After I start creating every day, I see different designs and that makes unique. She has only one employee in the city workshop and depends greatly on nine other women in the countryside of the southern region of Ethiopia where the false banana originates. Teshalech has trained them to produce different designs when she gets a product order. It takes half a day to, take, to make one vase, half, half day, because the, sometimes I use different parts, only the fiber, and also sometimes I use both the dry and the fiber part. It takes half day, sometimes for one, one day. But in a society where modern items are filling the market, adult designs have struggled with sales. The people who understand this organic, they are my customers. But I am trying to, for, to push or to use and they understand, some people are understanding. I am working on it, promoting and designing and making. For now, Teshalech depends majorly on the local market to sell her products, but she's looking for partners that will help her access the international market. Adult Designs is just five years old and is trying to get on its feet. Her belief in the power of eco-friendly production keeps Teshalech producing with hope. It's 6 o'clock Central African time, which means you're watching SABC News Primetime live from Johannesburg. A very good evening to you. I'm Peter Ndoro, and these are tonight's top stories. The ANC answers questions about SABC's uh, board's fitness to lead the corporation, saying that its decisions are an embarrassment to the country. And the Right to Know activists call on big business nationwide to pull their advertising from the public broadcaster. Students and police clash at some universities in the country, whilst at others there are calls to return to class. And SAB Miller AB Imbev merger signals the end of the oldest listing on the JSC. The deal set to be finalised in the next two weeks and will create a global mega brewer. In our top story tonight, meanwhile, the Right to Know campaign is uh, urging major corporates to stop advertising on the SABC. They marched in Johannesburg in the CBD today. The picket started at the FMB Bank City downtown Johannesburg, where a memorandum of demands was handed over to the management before proceeding to the South African breweries in Bromfontein. Coordinators of the march say that the management of the public broadcaster is benefiting unduly from advertising revenue. The campaign also saw marches being held in Cape Town and Durban. Neither FMB nor SAB Miller would not comment. Now, the ANC's chief whip, Jackson Mtembu, has called on the SAB.